Welcome to HDTV, you're now rocking with your boy. New Magic players Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner introduced at um, Amway Center. Jalen Suggs didn't arrive at Amway Center until Friday, but he must have felt like he was already home Thursday night when his name was announced to an Amway crowd at a team-sponsored draft party as the Magic Choice and number 5 selection in the NBA draft. The crowd went wild, and so did Magic guard R.J. Hampton. Things broke our way last night, and we consider ourselves fortunate. Magic president of basketball operations Jeff Weltman said indeed they did, and Suggs was able to take in the moment via a FaceTime call from his good friend Hampton. I had to call my boy R.J. when I got backstage at Barclays Center in Brooklyn to see how happy the fans were, and he was no happy to see how happy the fans were and he was knowing that I'm coming into a place that's going to embrace me, says Suggs, who was introduced along with the Magic's number eight pick, Franz Wagner, at an, at an Amway Center media conference Friday afternoon. It's the perfect feeling to see all the videos of everybody in the arena yesterday chanting my name when they picked when when the pick was called to see how happy they were. Now, hopefully they'll bring a positive vibe, energy and good spirit in and hopefully they embrace me as well. Let's see, my brother, I never would have imagined. We always talked about talking about it 100 knots up. This is Jalen Suggs. He got him on the FaceTime at the Anway, which is neat. It was a crazy 24 hours both players had gone through and both were quite happy to know where they would start their NBA careers. Wagner, a six foot nine forward out of Michigan, has a brother on the Magic roster and Mo Wagner, but he's a free agent, so he may not be with the team next season. Nonetheless, Franz Wagner is excited about his, his new beginning. I'm super excited. Dream come true, said the German-born Wagner. I put so much work and time into it. And to see the family and friends afterward, that was the best part of the night. The Magic were projected by many experts to be leaning toward taking FSU Fort Scotty Barnes. But once he was announced as the number four pick to the Toronto Raptors, the Anway crowd went wild in anticipation of the Magic selection at number five. They figured Suggs, the star of a 31-1 Gonzaga team as a freshman a year ago, had fallen right into the Magic's lap. A lot of emotion, excited, ready to get out here from the moment that I heard they were going to take me and then they called my name. I was just happy and excited to share that moment with my family and friends, said Suggs, whose parents Molly Manley and Larry Suggs accompanied him to Orlando and were at Friday's media conference. Suggs became an NCAA tournament darling last season when his buzzer-beating overtime three-pointer defeated UCLA at a national semifinal and sent the Zags into the title game against Baylor. Suggs had 22 points in the national championship, but the Zags fell short as Baylor thwarted their unbeaten season. Everywhere he's been, Suggs has been a winner. He led his high school team to three straight Minnesota's Class 2A state titles for a mini ha-ha in St. Paul, and he was also a football star and was named his home state's Mr. Basketball and Mr. Football during his senior year the first athlete to ever accomplish the double. He was also named the National Max Preps Male Athlete of the Year in 2019. Suggs, who averaged 14 points, five rebounds, and five assists in his one season at Gonzaga, has known Hampton for quite a long time. Me and RJ go way back even to when we didn't know each other and unknowingly played against each other down in Texas. Just great people comes from a great family, all down to earth, genuine loving people, Suggs said. Now I have an opportunity, things that we talked about. I remember sitting at Buffalo Wild Wings with USA Basketball and RJ. We were sitting at the table watching the draft, and we're like, yo, this is going to be us in a couple of years, and how crazy it would be if we ended up on the same team. Now it turned out that we're here together and hopefully locker roommates. Wagner is a versatile forward who takes pride in his ability to do many different things at his size. During his career at Michigan, he averaged 12.6 boards, and two assists in 55 games. 
is completely different from college. Obviously, an 82-game season is a different type of beast than, what, 30 to 40 games, Wagner says. So just preparing your body for that and also just being mentally stable. There are a lot of ups and downs in a long season like that. It's important to have family and friends support you. The 19-year-old Suggs and 20-year-old Wagner add more youth to what is already one of the youngest rosters in the NBA. The Magic currently have 11 players 25 years old or younger. I love it, and it comes with expectations, being high picks like this, Suggs said of him and Wagner. I'm embracing it all, being here with a bunch of young guys. We're hungry, hungry to succeed and win and become better. Those are the kinds of people I want to be around, and I feel like we could create something special here with the group that we have. Weltman knows he has a team full of young players, and he's the kind of manager who does not like to push things or set timelines. I don't like to ever put timetables on things, Weltman said. You're looking at a 19-year-old and a 20-year-old, and they're going to come in, and they're going to work and will and, and be well coached, and we're going to do things the right way, and their timetable will unfold as it does. So, um, the magic and everything selected Suggs. Um, we were supposed to get Scotty Barnes. That's who I was looking to get. I didn't know the Raptors were going to get him. I thought the Raptors had enough, um, <laughs> that they had enough, um, what do you call it? They had enough forwards. I mean, they're loaded, but now, you know, we got guards and everything, and there's nothing wrong with having too many guards, but sometimes it could oversaturate your court. But I understand why they did it, because we're not sure how Fultz will be. We don't know if Fultz is going to, um, um, you know what I'm saying, be there for a while. You know, we, we have no idea. Like, you know, he got hurt, like, late, you know what I'm saying, like, early part of the season. But, you know, it takes rehab, and the, and the knee takes a year, so... We don't know how ready he's going to be. And then Isaac, remember, he got hurt in the bubble. So he should be coming back October or December, you know, ready to go um, to play. But him and Wagner be good in the front court. Um, I, I like um, our guards. Um, we, we need some big men. Because let me, let me see our roster. I apologize. Um. Um, right now we got Mo Bamba. Mo, Mo Bamba to me, we we'll see. You know, I'm just I'm just not sure about him because you know you just don't know. Like, is he gonna be tougher? You know, he's kind of soft. Um, Dwayne Bacon really played good for us down the stretch and early on. Um, Cole Anthony turned into his own. You know, um, Gary Harris. Like, if he stays healthy, he's a monster. Um, we got Chuma Okiki, who was pretty good. Uh, we got Otto Porter Jr. You know, we got Terrence Ross still. And then, you know, we got Mo. Then, you know, we um we got Gary Harris. Like I said, if he stays healthy, he's good. Michael Carter Williams, he's okay. He just never developed a shot. James Ennis the third is he's tough nose. Um, like I said, we'll we'll see. Wendell Carter Jr., he's decent. You know, he's okay. You know, we got him, I, I believe, from the Bulls. So he's our guy down low. You know, we got a fresh slate. So we just have to put it together. Like I said, did Orlando, like we, <laughs> you know, it's been a while since we've been. I think the last time we had really a good team was when Dwight Howard was here, a consistent team that could go to a championship. Um, So... We'll see. Um, I just think that we just have a lot of work to do. So we'll 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 find out. Um, we'll find out what happens. My magic. Um, I I think I think we're gonna we're in rebuild mode. So it, it's gonna be tough to gauge. I I don't believe we'll make the play in or the playoffs this year. But I think in maybe a year or two, I got to see how they play together and see what we do. Cause you don't know trade deadline. We might move a few of those guards. I think we ought to move a few of them um, and, and and set the stage because Markel, um, I don't know if Markel is going to be ready. So that's why I believe they, they drafted. I don't think they were trying to draft Suggs, but there was no other way to go because they took Scotty Barnes, a pick before. And to me, Scotty Barnes would have been a better fit um, for what we were doing because Isaac is still trying to come back from that injury. 
So we'll we'll see, man. Um, I'm not too sold on the magic. I think I gotta wait and see. I just hope they give the the brother man um a chance and let him you know go through his ups and downs. But you know how it is. You know, you you black man, you got a leash. If you white, you can take all the time. You know, so thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash apping me at the word welcome, the number two, and then H D I I T V. And let me know your thoughts in the um comment section if you're an Orlando fan or not. I would like to hear your thoughts on our team and our draft picks. Um, thank you for listening. We out. Deezy.